good morning it's absolutely beautiful sunny day the tide is well in high high in and uh, we are still in Kuala Balai yesterday I went to Tasik Merenbaum Heritage Park and um, I've got to say I was a little bit disappointed I, I kind of looked online and the one is one nearer to us I think and the reviews were you know it's part great but there's lots of the paths aren't very safe and it's not been maintained and blah 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 and as my wife's not really able to be sort of climbing up hills and running down dales and stuff we need a sort of fairly sensible uh, place then we sort of I, I blew that off then there was another one on the way up can't remember the name of that either which we passed actually to get through to Tassik Merenbum and again, I didn't go in that because the reviews weren't as good as I thought they could have been. So we went to the one with the best reviews. And when we got there, we were quite filled with hope. But however, they only had two trails, one of 650 meters and one of 1,050 meters. They had a small butterfly house with barely bigger than this shelter and uh, hardly any butterflies in. And they had a sort of museum that just hasn't been looked after or loved in any way, shape or form. They, it's just not maintained. There's a big lake with a, a walkway over the lake, but the walkway's broken and nobody's bothered to repair it. You know. These are things that, like, if you look up tourist spots in Brunei, are you know, right high up the list. These are places that you're supposed to get the tourists to go so they can see what a beautiful country this is. And it is a beautiful country. But by this simple fact of not doing ongoing maintenance, I wish one of these countries would just employ me as an ongoing maintenance manager and it'd be my job to have a small team of people to uphold maintenance on like important tourist attractions, clean toilets, broken down bridges and fences and gates and information and oh, so many things. It's just like ongoing. It doesn't take a lot though, I mean if you basically, if a bridge, if you have a big bridge across a river and one plank of wood breaks or rots or whatever, you replace that plank of wood. What you don't do is you don't leave it until there's two planks of wood and then three planks of wood and then a section collapses because everything has not been looked after. If you do, if you repair things as you go along, you stop these problems because what happens and I've seen this in Malaysia and it looked like I, see, I was seeing it at that lake is eventually the lack of maintenance means a part of the bridge falls down and instead of repairing it it's abandoned it's kind of like it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy oh well nobody uses the bridge well that's because the bridge has fallen down yeah but nobody uses it I mean come on Brunei Brunei Tourist Authority contact me all you got to do is very simple. Pay me a, a decent wage, not a crazy one. Let my family come here with me. And I will be in charge of maintaining your tourist areas. Okay. The areas that you want to bring people to. I mean, the problem is, I guess, I don't know if Brunei chases a tourist dollar. I don't know if that's actually an even thing. Um, I'm guessing it probably doesn't. But if it did, it's got some beautiful places. The only real problem with I see with Brunei is the same as there is with Malaysia. The stifling heat. <laughs> it's bloody hot. Swings and roundabouts. But also they don't kind of have the the foresight to put a uh, you know you, what you do is you very simple. You put a vending machine, drinks vending machine there and every sucker that comes along buys bottles of water, cans of coke, whatever it is they buy. Just make sure you have enough bins. I've got to say, I'm going to say this, Tassik Marambum Heritage Park, you may have a few issues with maintenance but your toilets were sparkling clean and they smelled fabulous. So thank you very much for that, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, so last night we went out again to Kaisan in Kuala Belai which is the sushi place absolutely fabulous food really fabulous but my son's kind of I'm sure he doesn't eat between visits so 
Last time we saw him was nearly three months ago. I don't think he'd eaten since then. So what he does is he orders everything on the menu and eats it right in front of us. Anyway, it's life. It's a hard life being a young man. We will probably drive up to the Seri uh, Banda Bagwan and uh, look around a bit of the city, show the girls the city. They haven't been up there yet. And then we intend going to, uh, there's a, a sort of, a, a, I want to say a theme park, a sort of um, entertainment park on the way to the city. And that's open, I think, from Thursday, which is today. So we'll probably go and call in there. But if not, we'll do that tomorrow, providing Tilly's okay. There's no point. We're not, um, you know, we're in the very, I was going to say lucky. We're not. We're in a position where we have to go away every few months. So it's not like this is our only holiday of the year and it will be spoiled if Tilly's ill through it all. That's not the point. The, the fact is that... Uh, this is something we have to do. We do try to make the best of these trips. But if someone's ill, us, you know, we're just, just going to chill, just relax. It's a beautiful place to relax in anyway. Nice food, oh, nice beach. Let's show you some water. I'm sure you're bored of listening to me anyway, so let's uh, go and look at the water, shall we? One thing I like about Starbucks, anywhere you go in the world, is the consistency. The product is the same. and. Uh, the cakes. Mm. But and sometimes you just you need to sometimes you need to sit down somewhere quiet and cool. And enjoy. See you later.